Hi everybody and welcome to my uh, C-Motion tutorial. First, I don't feel myself as an animator but a few guys on uh, CG Talk uh, like my C-Motion example and I want to show you how it works and it will be pretty easy I think because C-Motion object itself it's an amazing object, an amazing feature of uh, newest Cinema 4D uh, set in. It's a amazing tool for me as well because uh, I am not able to do something like that without C-Motion. C-Motion opens gate for almost everybody who wants to do some nice animation and uh, he does not need to be a perfect animator because C-Motion can do almost everything without some extra effort. Okay, we can go to my scene and I must show my object first of course it's very very simple droid object and it has four legs and every these legs are uh, still same without, they are still same and uh, restriction and IK hierarchy is always the same we can show it on this one like for example it works and this leg has three joints, first, second and third is the last and IK hierarchy is connected to this one target object and in case the target is outside of the radius of the leg here is this one signalization, that's all very very simple I think and about uh, IK hierarchy you can see it has three simple joints, so I've used them as a new object only. And uh, this one object, you can, we can uh, rename it to pelvis, for example. It has uh, a target tag, and uh, target object is our this one target object of the lag. Okay, and I have used uh, simple express or things for some restrictions and constraint of uh, of my joints. Okay, that's all. Uh, we can start this uh, start the work on C motion. Create a new C motion object. It's very, very easy. Select the C motion itself and lock it and drag and drop. Our main body object is this one object. Okay, and place their all target objects as well and they must be placed under the main object. It's very, very important. And play the animation. Nothing. Okay, we must turn C motion object first. But it goes already. It's really amazing because it works really perfect and you can see it works already. It's not perfect, but it works. It's very, very important for me. Okay. Uh, select the C motion again and go to object page and walk. Here's a static position. Change it to line, for example. Wow. Amazing. We can just try it. It's uh, a step size. and here is a time. It's time per cycle. Because about the C-Motion name, uh, C-Motion uh, means uh, cyclic motion. It's one step, or oh, one cycle, sorry. We can do time shorter a bit. And longer stride. Perfect. But we must check the movement itself. It's not a walk. It's something like a brand um, beyond daily or Gundes or something like that. <laughs> These guys, uh, we must do there some lift. Okay, select this one. Target object, for example, is not important, and create a new lift. Its movement in epsilon direction and. Add. 
Okay. It's much better, I think. We can adjust these values and we can adjust the height and variation and curve settings. It's really up to you. In case you are satisfied, we can copy the settings and paste it to other. Perfect. I like it. Okay, uh, we can adjust uh, a position of our legs in according to their position and direction of moving of our object. For example, select left front target and we can use this horizontal settings and adjust it. Set horizontal to 15 for example and position, you can adjust position as well. 35 maybe and select right front target as well. 15 and 35. Perfect. Nice. I love it. It goes perfect. Okay. But uh, we can adjust it a bit more. Select the main object, main body object, and we can adjust position and we can animate these parameters of course we can adjust vertical position as well and horizontal position of course it works really perfect. I really love it. Okay, what will be next? Create uh, a new simple spline. Set intermediate points to uniform, of course. And uh, so C motion object again and change walk type to pass and set your spline as a pass. Oof, perfect. We, we, you, we, uh, you can go to road settings and we can adjust the start position and end position and can our direction or not and pass the surface with this very important. You will see. Okay, what will be next? We can create a new land or landscape. You can use landscape object as well. Landsc object. I'll place it here for example. And so you see motion object again and use your landscape as a surface object. It's amazing. Okay, and you can that's better and you can use you can use it in two ways align hops or without it can see it works really perfect. Okay, in case you will have there some problems, you can still animate and adjust almost every step by these parameters. You can see it's animate it's animable with all problem. But we have another option as well. We can adjust every step of our object in case we will use steps and 
are eight steps. Create steps. Okay. It's calculating. Perfect. And we can adjust every step of our object now. It's really perfect. You can see. It works. It's absolutely amazing. Use we can adjust really everything that we have in our scene. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, that's all. I hope you like it and in case you like it, support me via PayPal and my account 